Hey there again, this is Grant with VGI. We're gonna be finishing up talking about Emotional Psycho. And if you didn't watch the last video, click the annotation below or wherever it is or the link listed down below and watch that one first. That will go over the whole background of this idea. Today we're gonna to be talking about gameplay and mechanics in general. And when I was thinking about what I'd like to see in a game like this, there were a few things that came to mind. First is intuition. When you're playing as James, you would actually have the ability to detect lies over a set amount of time. Now this wouldn't really hone in on a specific lie, but it would tell you if a lie had been told recently. If it did hone in on a specific lie, it'd make everything way too easy. You'd know who you could trust and who you couldn't trust without having to do any kind of, I don't want to say research, but just without thinking. You'd just be, everything would be given to you on a platter. Now, that wouldn't make anything fun at all. So the way I'm viewing it is you push a button, whether you're in regular dialogue or an interrogation, and over a course of a period of time, like you say a minute, minute and a half, three minutes or something like that, if a lie had been told within that given amount of time, your controller would vibrate, giving you an idea of something that you've heard in that time period has been untrue, and you can kind of start digging deeper, figuring out who's lying and who's not or what they're lying about and what they're not. Next is empathy. Now this is gonna be another skill for James and it's gonna allow him to see emotions as colors. And this is gonna work beautifully in tandem with intuition. Intuition will tell you if somebody's lying, but with empathy, you'll be able to not only tell that they're lying, but the emotions they're feeling while they're lying. And that thing could give a pretty in-depth look and that could give you a hell of a lot of insight into whoever you're talking to. Finally, force switching. Now, James instantly switches over to Brian if he's threatened, but he can also switch over to Brian if he's exposed to a certain amount of stress over a longer period of time. Now, once Brian takes control, he has to do something aggressive or violent. Now, that's completely okay if you're in the middle of a shootout with a bunch of bank robbers, but not so much if you're on a date. To keep James from losing his shit and switching over to Brian, you gotta do something to manage your stress, whether that's reading a book, going for a run, watching a movie, something like that. Now that's pretty much it. As always, I'd love to hear your guys' suggestions, and if you have any game ideas in general, share them. Hope you guys have a great day, catch you later. Remember to like this idea if you wanna see it made into a real game, and subscribe so you know what games are right around the corner. Hey there again, this is Grant with VGI, and today we're going to be talking about the game idea, Emotional Psycho. The setting for this one is going to be in any urban area. I was kind of thinking Chicago, maybe New York, uh, but I'm kind of partial towards Seattle. I absolutely love 